I'm going to read you something out of this King James Bible that you're going to have a hard time with that you're not going to believe. Old Testament, Psalm 18, verse 37 through 43. Psalm 18, 37 through 43. David's pen here. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them, small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt, in the streets, thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. That is right straight out of the King James Bible, the record of truth for our times in this age, filed in the earth by the British Crown in 1611. Psalm 18, verses 37 through 43. The inspired Word of God, inspired by the Holy Ghost, comes into David, the greatest mortal warrior and king to ever walk the face of the planet, and inspired his spirit as a man to pen these words. Nasty brother, I'm telling you here, this Bible is taught today and preached today as a sweet, sweet thing, cuddly. Let me tell you something, it's real, it's true. You can believe it, you can bank on it. Here is a warrior who is praying to absolutely destroy, stop, and consume his enemies, you understand? You say that's Old Testament, and Christ said you should pray for your enemies. That's when he was teaching the constitution of the kingdom of heaven, which was rejected. When the Jews rejected the king of the Jews, the king of the kingdom of heaven, that's out the door, suspended until Christ returns to rule as dominion ruler. You understand? Read it as it is in full context. Not cherry pick that Bible, brother. Here's the point. The point is this. David was declared by God himself a man after mine own heart. In the book of Matthew, God declares David perfect save in the matter of Uriah the Hittite, where David had Bathsheba's husband sent to the front to kill him because he lusted over Bathsheba. God thought highly of David, very, very highly. Pay attention to David's pen, who God has approved and preserved in his word that he wants you to know. Okay? David wants to literally stomp his enemies here. And if you have enemies, yes, yes, you can pray against those enemies, you understand, that are trying to destroy you. That thing about Christ saying you should pray for your enemies is teaching what the kingdom is of heaven is like with him physically, carnally present ruling. He was rejected by the Jew, the corporate nation of Israel. Thus, the kingdom of heaven is suspended at the moment on earth while he rose up and sitteth at the right hand of God. Now, that kingdom of heaven where you pray for your enemies 
will be realized and off suspension as soon as his feet hit the ground on Mount Olives at the appointed time. Amen. Examine the record, brother.